to do a little measurement today and I thought I'd use my dogs to help me with that. So there's many different ways you can measure. You can measure with rulers, you can measure with uh, tape measures, you can measure with yardsticks, and those are what we call standard units of measure. So that means that they're the same no matter where you are. So if I was going to measure, say, to get a rug for my house, I would measure it in inches and then I would order it and I would have to use those same inches and I know I would get exactly what I was looking for. But there's times where you don't have to use standard units of measure. Like when I'm going to be measuring my friend Buddy here. What we're going to do is we're going to be measuring him using some non-standard units of measure. So we're going to use things like blocks to help us measure. We're going to use paper clips. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. So what I thought we would do is we would compare my two dogs. I have Buddy and I have Beans. And we're gonna do Buddy first because he happened just to be right next to me while I started this. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure his tail. Now it's kind of hard to measure his tail with the ruler to start. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of string and I'm gonna put the string to the base of his tail. Because remember, when we measure something, we have to measure things lining up our endpoints. So my one endpoint is going to be at his tail and then I'm going to take the string to the end of his tail. So I'm looking at about this long. Okay, so that long is, that's how long his tail is, but does that really tell me anything? No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this string and now I'm going to measure it. I'm going to use my ruler and I'm going to measure from one end point to the other. So I want you to take a look. I'm going to use my ruler. We're going to use centimeters. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the end points of my yarn right to the ruler. And we're going to see how long it is. So I want you just to see that a little clearer. Okay, so it looks like it's about 19 centimeters long. So what we're going to do is we're going to record our information. So I'm going to put Buddy's tail is 19, and we always label it CM for centimeters. You always want to put a label on it. So if it's centimeters, you're going to put centimeters. If it is inches, you might put IN for inches. So it all depends on what it is that you're using, but you always want to make sure you label it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to make sure that I line it up with paper clips. Now, here's the thing. When you line it up, you want to make sure that the paper clips are touching each other. There shouldn't be any gaps in between. And again, you're lining it up with your end point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you focus in on the actual measurement. So let's take a look. So I have my string and what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the paper clips one right after another. So we can say that it is almost four centimeter, or I'm sorry, four paper clips long. So we're going to say four, and I'm going to put PC for paper clips. So that's how long his tail is. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at his legs. So I'm going to have him sit right on the table here. I should say stand right on the table. And again, I'm going to take some string. I'm going to try to use the same one, see if it'll be that long. So I'm going to go from here to the bottom of his leg. Believe it or not, it's the same measurement. That's really weird. I didn't think that was going to happen. So if we know it's the same measurement, what we can do is record, again, the same information. So it's going to be 19 centimeters and four paper clips. Now, our last measurement is his snout. Now, a dog's snout is basically how long their nose is. 
Every dog is different. You're going to see that Buddy's snout is a lot shorter than Beans' snout is going to be. But let's take a look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I don't know if he's going to cooperate, but we're going to put it right to the base of his snout to the end of his nose. And he's got a teeny, 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 tiny nose. So I'm going to just cut this right here. And let's see how long it is. So again, I'm going to turn this so you can see it a lot better. And we're going to measure it. So I'm going to lay that here. You can barely see it, I think. And I'm going to put it so that my endpoints line up. So it looks to be four centimeters. So his snout is four centimeters long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record four cm's or centimeters. Now, what we need to do is we need to now line up paper clips. Can you guess how many paper clips that might be? If you guessed one, you're probably right. It's not even a whole paper clip. It's like almost three quarters, but we're gonna use an estimate. We're gonna say it's almost one paper clip. So I'm gonna put one PC for a paper clip. And those are Little Buddy's measurements. So you can see Little Buddy here. This is my little best friend, my one of my two best friends. And he is the sweetest little guy and he is only five months old. So I thought he would help us today. So hang on a second, I'm gonna go I get our beans little friend. With me. Beans. beans is my first little boy dog that I have, and he is almost two years old, so he's a little older than Buddy is. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure him and see what the difference is between Buddy and Beans. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see how long his tail is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my yarn and I'm again gonna line up my endpoints. So I gotta take it from the end of his tail. I'm just gonna move this so you can see this. So I'm gonna take it from the end of his tail to the other end of his tail. So it looks like it's about this long. So we're gonna cut that and then we're going to line it up next to our ruler. So if I line it up next to my ruler, I'm gonna line up my endpoints again. And it looks like it is a little longer than 30 centimeters. So we're gonna put 30 centimeters over here. And now what we need to do is we need to take the same string and we're going to use paper clips this time. So again, you're gonna line up your paper clips so that they are all touching one another. Let me just move this so you can see this a little better. So you can see I'm making sure that each one touches each other so that there's no gaps in between. If there's gaps, your measurement is not going to come out right. There. So if I count them, I have one, two, three, four, five, six paper clips long. So we're going to record that. We have six pieces, six paper clips. So, so far, if we take a look, we have Beans's tail is 30 centimeters, where Buddy's was only 19, which is six paper clips long compared to four paper clips long. So there is quite a difference. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at his legs. Now, his legs are a little longer. So we're going to, again, take the string and we're going to line it up from the end of his leg up here where his leg starts to the bottom of his leg, which is about right here. So I'm gonna cut this. And 
we're going to take a look again. So, let's measure it up with our ruler. So I'm going to match up my endpoints. So it starts here and goes to about 22. Let me just show you that. So it's about 22 centimeters. And now we're going to line up our paper clips. So there's one, two, three, four, and then a little bit. So we're going to call it like maybe like four and a half paper clips. So again, his legs are a little longer than Buddy's legs were. So, so far his tail is longer and his legs are longer. Now let's take a look at his snout. His snout, I think you can take a look at this cute little face. You can tell that it's a little bit longer, not too much longer, but a little bit. So let's take a look. So if I put it at the base of his nose, to the end of his nose, again, not that much longer. So I'm going to measure it. So his is almost six. So his is almost six centimeters long, which again, not too much longer. And I'm thinking it's probably only gonna be again, one paper clip long. So it's just one paper clip long. So overall, we can see that but or that beans is a little bit bigger than buddy now keep in mind that beans is a little older too so buddy still has some growing to do but we could also use if i wanted to we could also use blocks like i showed you we could have also used it when you're at home you can use pennies to line up your pennies you could use macaroni you can use anything you have lying around the house you can measure anything you want. You can measure um, a book that you have that you're reading. You can measure your animal. If you have stuffed animals, you can measure your stuffed animals to see how long are their ears, how long is their tail. There's so many things you can measure. Get outdoors, measure something outdoors. There's so many possibilities. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm glad you got a chance to meet my puppies and I will be with you soon.